Praise the Lord. And now we invite to the stage the member of the Apostolic Council, Pastor Andrei Kuksenko. Please greet him. Please greet him louder. Hallelujah, dear church. Give God the glory. Before we invite the most active, the most interesting part of our church, I want to say that whatever we see during this anniversary, you know it wasn't created in one day. You know, right? Who of you do? It looks like you think it happens like this, you know, just a clap and it happened. No, it never did. It's not just encouraging. Somebody laid their life, their faith for this. Somebody's faith was placed here. <clears throat> Every time I come here, people uh, look at those presentations. They say, whoa, this and that. But I tell you, if uh, somebody wouldn't pay the price, uh, none of those people would come upstage. During the first uh, service, we've heard that if the price is not paid, the sounds are not raised. And so I want a special um, attention to be paid toward the, next, toward the next presentation. It's not because the presentation is um, special, not because I do so. Young people, they're hard to calm down. But it's a good side. It is so hard uh, to raise some of the people up. The young people, they are their life and so I want to encourage you to greet the people especially especially um, with especially warm greeting the 20 years will pass and maybe maybe you will look at somebody's face in TV and you would say oh I remember this boy this boy was a part of the theater friends please help me help me to greet the most the most active the most intellectual, the most perspective, the most creative, the most non-standard, standard, the future judges, the future history makers, the young people of the Embassy of God Church and the sport movement. How will this continue on? Will this be forever going?
Dear friends, let me also say that we need to pay special attention. The church, the young people, they're not just the avant-garde. They're not just they're not just born recently. The young people, the people of the Embassy of God Church, they're the people who think systematically. They're the history makers that uh, make the changes in socially political parts of the country, in prophylactical work in the educational centers. They're working with the young people. They're conducting trainings and presentations. They're influencing the culture. They're preparing the young people for the marriage. They're influencing the sport. We've divided our presentation on five blocks. It is impossible to name every one of those directions. We can talk about it, all the conferences alone, but let us quickly introduce to you the activity of the Embassy of God Church. We have aims, and the aims are great. We, are, we want to influence 500 million people. We want to influence those people. And I want you to know that the young people, the young people, of the Embassy of God Church, they're taking the responsibility for one million people. And I want to introduce to you such an area of our activity as the socially political life of the country and business. Greetings, dear church. Please be seated. It is our 18th birthday. We want to congratulate you all from the name of the young people. Let us give loud applause to the Lord. Let us do so. Dear church, I want every one of us to glorify the Lord with an applause, with a loud cry, with a rejoicing that the young people are here, that they are not drug addicts, they are not alcoholics that they're not killers, they're not criminals, but they're the young, sober, sound people who have the calling, who are moving in politics, in business, in social area, in social work. Give God the glory. Dear church, they're not just the young people. They're not the young people who just come to the church. They're not the people who found Jesus as their savior, but they're the people who received his calling into their life. They're the people who go and reform the society. And I'm sure that they're the people, they're the proud that God is uh, proud of. Give God the glory, please. We have a statistic to share with you because of this um, um, part of a movement uh, that uh, touches the politics and business. We are able to influence not only with our money and with our efforts, but through the government uh, structures and, and uh, services, uh, through the different parties and administrations, through the uh, social councils, we were able to touch 25,000 young people through those areas. They're the people they're the people who've heard the word of the Lord, who've heard the young people, the sober young people who do not smoke, who live differently, who know Jesus personally. Through the last year only, we were able to touch 15,000 young people through, through all those uh, this activity. On a regular basis, the young group uh, is influencing uh, 5,100 people regularly. The young people of the Embassy of God uh, Church are not just influencing, but are reforming. We entered uh, the top 20 social councils um, top church. Let's give God the great glory for those people and their influence. Additional to this, let me introduce another movement. The young people are involved into the 
uh, prophylactical work, the prophylactical prophylactic work um, of the negative um, uh, negative uh, forms of uh, development, and the young people of the Embassy of God Church are influencing it. Good day, dear Church. Congratulations. Let's clap to the Lord. I want to introduce to you um, the movement of the youth clubs, uh, the lessons and the trainings against the prophylactic uh, of the negative uh, activities that are happening in our society. Let's bless the Lord for all the people who are influencing. They're the people staying on the stage. They're the young people, the energetical people. They're the young people who have the burden for the young people. They're the people who have the burden for their relatives and friends. Through the club movement, through the different uh, trainings, through different seminars, we were able to touch 40,000 people. Only 500 uh, ministers are influencing those people. One person is influencing 80 people. And they're not just abstract. It's not just an ab uh, abstract uh, influence. They're the people that come to the Lord. Anton and Alek, they're the people who joined uh, the Bible club and they will be baptized um, in few in few days. And praise you be, Jesus. Additional to this, let me introduce you another movement. The movement um, that the young people are involved in. We are influencing the culture, the art. Let us glorify the Lord even for their part. That is truly, that is truly, that is truly correct. Let's praise for the uh, artistic people. Praise you, Jesus. Our God is a creator and he placed uh, the special, the special um, activity, the special creativity into the heart of every one of us. And every one of us is able to create. Well, let's praise God for the young people who are able to bring Jesus into the world through the creative ministries. That is true, that with the Embassy of God Church, we are able to destroy many measures, many borders. We are ruining the walls. We are entering the regions of Ukraine together uh, through, because of our songs, through our songs. We are winning the X Factor and other TV programs where the world, um, where the world is trying to popularize the non-Christian art. We are using it in order to glorify the Lord. And we are doing it in the places where it is impossible because of the embassy of God. We are conducting um, the event that are touching more than that are touching the hearts of more than 10,000 young people personally. They've heard our dramas, our verses, our poems, our skits. They saw it all, and because of our movement, because of the movement of God through the activity, they open their heart, and they're here ministering. They're ministering to the Lord. Let me also introduce another movement. Friends, we're not just declaring, we're not just uh, stating the numbers. We're not just stating that there is a future after the young people. They are the people who are well prepared. They are prepared for the family life. Uh, they are involved into the school of premarriage. And let us give God the glory even for this part of the ministry. Good day, dear church. Let me quickly tell you that the Embassy of God is truly active in the family ministry. We are doing the pre-marriage counseling, training. There are several reasons why we do so. The first reason is that the statistic uh, left us um, very sensitive. Ukraine is, um, is a major leader in divorces in the former USSR. In some uh, parts of Ukraine, the divorces are even up to 90% of the marriages. When the young people are getting divorced, they're not the only one that are suffering, but the next generation suffers also. Do you agree with such a fact? It is true. 
the 70% of the people who are here, they went through the divorce or they've heard about the divorce. Up to 70% heard about it. You know how big of a trauma it is. And so we start to teach the people how to be prepared to marriage, whom to marry. I've, I saw my parents um, divorced and this ruined my life. But I, I'm more lucky in the age of 19, I found out um, my savior and I found my father here. Thank you, Pastor. You can prove what I say. I bet you can. We were able to find the statistic and the statistic touched our heart through the School of Pre-Marriage Training. The Embassy of God trained more than 20,000 young people. They trained them how to get married. And it is a statistic that we gathered in our church. I was happy to live in the other country for a time. I saw how, um, how their family is built, how uh, the attitude is formed. But because of the message of Pastor Sunday, because of his influence, he, ta he taught us how to choose the proper mate in our married life, even here in Ukraine. They formed a, a good example in our life together with his wife. And I, be, I bet we would be able to change the statistic in our country. And if you agree, well, praise the Lord. We will change the statistic. And they're the young people. They're the young people who are not yet married. They will stop this curse of divorce. They will do so. Thank you. Additional to this, let me introduce another direction. There is a direction, there are the young people that are involved in sport. The Embassy of God is also influential in sport. Congratulations, dear church. Let me congratulate you. Yes, with this wonderful celebration. It is the 18th anniversary. We're truly the family. It is truly the whole house of the Lord. I came here as a drug addict. Well, now I'm a president of the social activity, the sport against the drugs. I am a part of the city council. Our church is not just giving a freedom for people, but it helps the people to have a better future. It helps to realize itself. The sport is just a tool. It is a tool to evangelize. It is a tool to spread the gospel of the Lord through all the earth. 600,000 people. 600,000 people are touched through the sport area yearly, yearly, 600,000. And the more leaders grew up, the more people we influence, the more sections we could form, the more groups we could form, the more trainings we can conduct. But this area is very important, very important. The candidate of uh, sport in art um, has arrived and is a part of us and we will give her a chance to show something to us. She's a part of the Olympic team in art, uh, gymnastic of Ukraine. Let's greet her. Let me say one more thing. The people like she is, they are part of the Olympic group, Olympic team. They're the people to change, to reform this area and they'll bring the Christian values. Okay, please, welcome. I got it! I got it! 
the exit, the way out. We are the way out. I got it. Dear church, this is what I want to say. The young people that you stay at the stage, they're just a part of the group of, that are influencing one million people. They're doing it now. Yes, yes, you can, you can praise the Lord for this. They, friends, there's a reward. There's a reward that is uh, called the Hero of Ukraine. This reward um, is given by the administration. But from the name of uh, the million people influenced, we decided to form a reward that is called the National Hero. Well, and so from one million people, please receive this reward. Let us let us also pass a greetings from Grigory Mikhailovich Surkis as a president of uh, the sport activity of uh, Ukraine. Let me read the reward from him. The president of the Soccer Food Football Association, Grigory Surkic, congratulates, congratulates the God's Embassy um, Church on 18th anniversary. And thanks uh, for the active part and active role uh, in forming the healthy nation. Let me thank you, friends. The National Committee of Ukraine on Soccer, the Federation of Soccer of Ukraine. Let me quickly explain. The, the foreigners, listen, listen carefully. Oh, you can actually, you, you could see, yeah, you could. Let me say it once again, and please remember those words, earlier or later, whole the world will do the church the way we do. God called us to be the foundators, founders, the founders, the pioneers, the beginners basically the one who dictate the fashion not the worldly face face uh, fashion but um, the king of god fashion they are mostly the people who are influential 500 people the young people of the embassy of god all of them they are touching the lives not through the tv but personally live influence they're touching a million people and 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 it's not what it's not the total number I bet there are more influences they just don't know about about it some of them are influencing 10,000 some of them are influencing 15 different numbers but you know how they do this they do this because of the revelation the revelation that we cannot just sit in four walls if we would only stay in the church and do the youth group uh, program, you know, and just be rejoicing that we are believers and we go into heaven, the million would not hear. They would say, where are, where are the millions? Well, we don't need a million in the church. We need just one more who would influence another 2,000 or maybe a hundred. 
one by one because the one he will be taught he will carry God in his heart he will carry God in his heart he would be the son he would not just feel the number of the visitors the aim of the church visitation is not to grow the number you don't need to say oh we have so many thousands that's not the aim but we want to make people the sons of the living God the one who would carry God in themselves they have to leave the church and start influence 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 the kingdom of God they are the people and this is how every one of us can influence and bring tens of thousands. It's a new understanding of the church. It's a new understanding of the church. You, you've heard that we are influencing 15,000 people in, in prisons. Where would you find the 15,000 if you wouldn't go there? We counted the people whom we touch uh, every week, yesterday, 30,000. Where, where would we touch them if we would only stay in the church? The young people, the 500 young people, they would not be effective in the church only. They would influence just the groups around them. But because they go into the universities, because they left, and because they do all and conduct all those ministries, they're influencing a million people. You have to grasp the vision. You have to go and bring the fruit. It is the kingdom of our Father. You, sh you cannot just stay in the church. You cannot finish up your days in the church. Our fate is to go and influence and bring much fruit. Much fruit. And there are just young people. Just young people. They're influencing one million you will hear more and the day after you'll hear more from a small there will be a thousand a thousand out of a small one if you're a small one enter this great inheritance it is your fate from the weak nation there will be the strongest nation Even if I'm one, I have a promise from the small, from me, the smallest is one. I'm the smallest. I will be multiplied to a southern. How, you would say? Well, we teach it at the retreats. We teach it at the home groups, at the leader groups. It's not, it's not um, enough to go to the church only, but you have to start multiplying but if there is more than one, you have to become a nation. A million, it's, it's a nation. It's not just a group of people. It's a nation. Thank you. Thank, thank you. The, the, the people's hero of Ukraine. Thank you. One more minute. And so I'm a, a people's uh, hero, and this is the people's DJ of Ukraine, the DJ number one, the most popular DJ, DJ, DJ Light. He is our brother. You know what he did? He published his disc that is called the rhythms of love and the young people of our church sitting together with him down there but the most interesting thing is the most interesting thing is that whole Ukraine is gonna listen this disc it's gonna be put on on rotation on radio the counter would listen let us be the first one the worldly would would be listen to it but uh, we need to be the first one recommend it buy it and give it to somebody 
they wouldn't even expect but they would hear the gospel down there but that's not the main thing the most interesting thing is that the DJ light just came to me and he said pastor I gave God the word that all the money that I will gain from the disc everywhere for uh, in the foreign countries everywhere everywhere everything I would earn I will put into the uh, construction.